Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. My name is David Kesey, and I wanna share with you three things that I see stop real estate agents dead in their tracks, because I know that if you can overcome these three things or solve these three things, you can improve your business in almost every single case. So what's the first one? The first one is psychology, right? Most real estate agents know what to do. They know what to do. Look, it's not difficult. We have to generate leads. We have to convert leads into appointments. We have to go on appointments and list property or go on appointments and write offers. It's that simple, but yet why is it so darn difficult? Because we know what to do sometimes, yet we don't stay consistent with the actions that we have to do. We don't consistently generate the leads. We don't consistently set appointments. You know, something happens where I might be doing some prospecting calls and I get rejected and that messes with the mindset. And when that happens, it's very tough to stay consistent. So having your psychology in the right place is probably gonna be the most important thing and that's why I've kind of started off this video with that. So how in the world do you keep yourself in a good place where you feel good, where you feel inspired, where you, you wake up every day, where you get to go do something rather than you know getting up and going, oh God, I gotta go make calls today, right? How do you stay consistent? And the answer is a few things. I mean, there's a lot of things you can do for your mindset, probably way more than we, I mean, we could do a three hour video just on mindset alone. But you know, what I have found is that if you will take the activities and just be kind of unattached to the outcome, you can get a lot better results, right? Usually when we have a mindset stump where we kind of get stopped is because our psychology isn't in the right place. We've created a future negative, uh, a negative future for ourselves, right? Like, oh my gosh, if I make calls, then the expired is going to yell at me. And if the expired yells at me, then I'm not going to feel good. And you know what? This is stupid anyway. I don't even know why I'm making these calls. Nobody's going to know if they wanted, if they wanted me to list their house, they'd call me, right? Like all of a sudden this stuff starts happening in your mind. So your ability to create an empowering future for yourself, something that inspires you is critical. I mean, most people, they think they need to get motivated. That's what it is. I just need to be motivated, but motivation only lasts so long, right? Motivation is you create this leverage. Oh my gosh, I have these bills. Oh my gosh, I have to, you know, I, I just bought a new car and I can't afford it. I have to go to work so that I can make money. Um, but motivation only carries you so far and some people some people motivation doesn't work at all right that leverage happens and then they collapse what i propose is sometimes you get inspired right like i did another video earlier back if you haven't seen it about creating your job so that it inspires you rather than trying to get inspired to do your job, right? If you don't, if you hate calling expireds every day and you make it mean, you know, uh, calling expireds, I hate it, it's terrible, and you have this negative connotation around it, you are not going to consistently do it every single day. You're just not. You might do it for one or two days and then you'll fall off for a couple weeks and then you'll do it for a week and then you'll fall off for three months, right? And so what you have to be able to do is create a job create your work so that it's effective, but yet it inspires you so that your psychology will take you the distance that it needs to go. I mean, I think it was Steve Jobs that said, you know, you really gotta love what you do because if you don't, any sane person, any rational person would give up. So the goal here is if you wanna sell real estate and you wanna be in sales, you have to create an environment for you where you get to go make calls, you get to go do open houses, you get to, to you know send out emails and videos and that kind of thing rather than you have to. So psychology is the first thing that stops people, but if you can change the way you look at things, I mean, think of, the thing was Wayne Dyer that said, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. So that's psychology. The second thing is skills. I mean, let's face it, do you know anybody with a really good attitude that seems to still not do a lot of deals? I see that all the time in real estate, right? There's two million real estate agents out there and you know, 90% of them have to, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it, this is gonna be great, and then they're just not doing any deals. And so what is that? What that is is in today's real estate economy, in today's real estate market, our industry, if you don't have skills, you don't get the listings. I said it, if you don't have skills, you don't take the listings. Look, nobody gets into real estate because they don't think they have talent. Nobody says, you know what? I think I would stink at helping people sell houses. I think I would stink at talking with people. So I'm gonna get into real estate. Nobody does that. They get into real estate because they have talent, they see potential, but then something happens along the line. And that something 
is they just don't have the skills to be able to beat out other agents for listings. I mean, let's face it, I don't need to tell you, if you're watching this video right now, I don't need to tell you how competitive the real estate market is right now. Everybody wants to be in real estate. In California, where I'm from, when you get pulled over on the freeway, they don't even ask you for your, they, ask you, they don't ask you for your DMV license, they ask you for your real estate license, that, because everybody has one. And so today, when you're going on a listing presentation, you're competing against three, four, five different agents. And so how do you get the listing? Well, if you don't have the skills, the sales skills and the marketing skills to take the listing and get them to go with you, you're not gonna do much business. It's just the fact of life. If you don't have good marketing skills to attract clients, you're not gonna get clients. If you don't have good skills for converting leads into appointments, you're not gonna get appointments. And if you aren't good at going on a listing presentation, removing the competition, building value and showing them why you should go with them, then you're not gonna take listings. And so skills at the end of the day, and, and here's, the, here's really the, the thing that I find interesting as I'm thinking about it right now. Your skills, the better your skills are, the better your psychology goes, right? The first thing we talked about, the first thing that stops real estate agents. If you have amazing skills, your psychology is gonna be a lot better. If you have terrible skills, it creates uncertainty, it creates doubt, and now you don't, now you don't have that strong mindset because you're always wondering what will happen rather than knowing, right? Like, what would it be like to have skills that are so good that I can take away all of your money, I can take away all of your leads, I can take away all of your listings, put you in another part of the country, give you a real estate license, and you go make money. That's what skills are about. When you have that confidence that you have that amount of skills, doing as many deals as you want is a piece of cake. And the third thing is having the right strategy, right? So we've got psychology is the first thing that stops real estate agents. If you can overcome that, the second thing is developing the skills. And look, I just wanna say in this video, it's not like, oh, I need skills. Boom, I'm gonna go get them. That's, that's not how skills are developed. Skills are developed over practice over and over and over and over and over and then over and over and over and over again, okay? That's the second thing, and the third thing is strategy. I mean, you could have great skills, you could have amazing psychology, but if you don't have the right strategy in today's real estate economy, you are going to fail, right? The consumer, you know, between 1999 and 2005, as long as you dress reasonably nice and you didn't say anything ridiculous to the public, you could do a lot of deals. Um, my brother ha is a golfer and he had a, a golf instructor named Dan who used to do a ton of deals. He would do like 40 deals a year and he never prospected once and this was between that period of time, right? He would do all these deals just by playing golf. So I mean, he could just show up and deals would occur. It's not like that anymore. You have to have the right strategy. The consumer has been burned in the past. And so they're a little bit more savvy. They're a little bit more insightful, right? And so what we have to be able to do is we have to have the right strategy. How are you positioning your business? How are you positioning your brand so that you become the obvious choice, right? Like you, what you don't wanna be is like a secret agent. Nobody knows who you are. If I Google you and you don't show up, in Google, then you virtually don't exist as a real estate agent. You don't, your business doesn't exist. So psychology, skills, and strategy. Strategy is gonna get you the opportunity to use the skills. Skills are gonna improve your mindset. I hope I delivered a lot of value on this, on this video for you. It's the three things, right? There's a lot of other things in between that, right? We could talk about four, five, six different things in terms of psychology. We could talk about four or five things in terms of skills. We could talk about four or five things in terms of strategy, and that's probably for another video, but what I'd like to do for you is, if you're struggling with any one of these three, psychology, skills, or strategy, I wanna give you a gift. I'd like to offer you a 30 to 45 minute coaching session with me for free, no sales pitch, not like, hey, what, what do you gotta do to get into coaching today? Not that kind of stuff, right? Like, I just wanna provide value to you. And you know, if you like it and you wanna coach, that's cool. But what I'd like to do is I, I really get off on helping people succeed, right? Like I had a, um, I did a free coaching call the other day for a guy named Art. And Art, this was probably about three months ago. And he, he said, you know, coaching's not for me right now. And I said, no problem. Problem, just go take the strategies that I gave you on this call and go implement. And he said, okay, 90 days, he put $45,000 of new commissions into escrow. Right, they're not on all closed yet because that's, that's the bummer about real estate, right? We have those long escrows. And so 
of one free coaching call, and that's what I want to do for you. So if you're struggling with any of these, you need help, click the, uh, there should be a button on this page somewhere where you click it and then you can uh, sign up for a free coaching call with me, and I'd love to help you in any way I can. If not, then hey, I'm gonna be posting a lot of videos and you can check those out too. You can check out my Facebook page and all that. I give a lot of free content there too. So look, psychology, skills, and strategy, improve them and you're gonna improve your business.